Strategy Battle Gamers. Welcome to a Windrush Wargamers Christmas hat rep. So today we're going to be playing a special scenario based upon the Middle Earth SPG rule set. This is going to be called A Fight Before Christmas. This is going to put a cool battle. So the basic premise is this is a night before Christmas and one of Santa's entourage, Krampus, who in Austrian and German folklore punishes uh, naughty children, he's, he's gone a bit mental and he's kidnapped some hobbits, uh, elves, using the hobbit profiles, and he is uh, beating them with his branch, which he normally does to children. That has sent Santa Claus into a murderous, uncontrollable rage. <laughs> he now craves for Krampus's blood at all costs, but the feeling's mutual. Krampus wants him just as bad. So, in response, a lot of the elves have pulled out of the workshop in order to help uh, Santa Claus fight uh, Krampus, and Krampus has organized a kind of war band of um, kind of nasty goblins and some wolves and stuff to, uh, to fight him. So it should be good. So on the forces of good, you have Father Christmas himself, you have 12 hobbits, 4 with bow, and the rest with just, well, elves using hobbit profiles, 4 with bow, and uh, the rest with kind of just hobbit militia weapons. Krampus, as I said, has two warhounds, they're going to be using wolf profiles, not fell wolves, just normal wolves, and then goblin town goblin profiles for his nasty minions. I should probably say something as well. You're going to have a trip for you. Well, you said you wanted to. Do you want to put it out? Same neck, has a movement of 5 inches, fight of 5, shoot 3 plus, strength is 4, yep. defense of 4, he has 2 attacks, he has 3 wounds and 7 courage, 3 might, 5 will and 2 fate. His war gear are a pair of axes forged for him by the elven smiths of the North Pole, by the names of Naughty and Nice. Yeah, he'll choose whether he's going to be Naughty or Nice. Naughty, whether he's going to strike with Naughty, gets an extra attack. Boosting his attacks to 3, when he attacks you with nice, he strikes her at strength 5. Special rules are Terra, Lord of the North Pole. Cool. North Pole is uh, stand fast on 12 inches. And Christmas Spirit. Elves within 6 inches of him, you can use him as a banner. Yes, which is great. His heroic actions are Heroic Strike, Heroic Combat, and he has a magical power known as Deck of the Hall. Uh, will work on a 5 plus. Basically, Sorcerer's Blast. Mm. On a 5 plus, you deck in. Not just the whole shit. He's decking everyone. Yeah. His wife, Mrs. Claus. The Gilf. <laughs> Mrs. Claus, aka the Winter's Gilf. She's fight four, shoot five, strength three, defense five. She has three wounds, two attacks, two might, seven will, and three fate. And her special ability is Silent Knight. At the start of the fight phase, she can spend a will point to begin to sing a magical sleep inducing lullaby. If Mrs. Claus or any ally within you know, six inches of a wins a combat, then any foe that took part in that combat but didn't suffer a wound must succeed a courage test or be paralyzed until the end of the next round. She's classed, which is classed, yeah. Yeah. really good. Um, she's unarmed though, that's the only yeah. issue, so no, not much fighting really there. She also has the magical spell renew, so it kind of rounds off her sort of support capability. Now the big bad, let's move on to Krampus. Okay. Krampus, keywords are spirit, monster, black forest. And hero of legend. He has got a movement of seven. He's got fight six. He shoots on a four plus. Uh, his strength is six, defense is five. He has three attacks, three wounds, and only four courage. He has four might, two will, and three fate. His war gear is claws. His heroic actions are heroic combat, heroic defense, and heroic accuracy. His special ability is snatch, which activates as a brutal power attack. And if the foe has two strength or lower, so the the Hobbit Elves. The cameras may pick the target up and place them in his basket. He doesn't have a basket on the model, but he has a basket. When he has one Hobbit in his basket, or Elf, he causes terror. When he has two Hobbits in the basket, he adds plus two to his courage, so his courage gets buffed up to a six. And when he has three Hobbits in his little basket, he has his movement half, but he can throw a Hobbit. Yeah, and they land on a hit on a strength eight. <laughs> So he absolutely flings them at people. So here's the 
uh, objectives. So with this scenario, um, three main, the three main objectives, and there's two sort of secondary objectives. So the three main ones are Santa, Mrs. Claus, and Krampus. Okay, so Santa needs to stay alive. So if he does, a good team gets three points. If he doesn't, then the evil side gets three points. If Mrs. Claus manages to get from Santa's house, well, the Claus, is she? Yeah. She, she lives in the thing. The Claus' yeah. house to Krampus's derelict torture chamber. <laughs> she, she, no, Mrs. Claus has a loving heart. Yeah. Right? She wants to save the hobbits that are being kidnapped already, and she wants to heal them. So she's going to run across the board, if she can, and get in there, and she doesn't need a cross with me, we're just going to assume she's, she's healing them. Okay, so if she gets into that house, that's three points for good. If she doesn't make it into the house at the end of the game, three points for, for evil. Okay, and if Krampus stays alive, then it's three points for the evil. Uh, if he dies, it's three points for good. Yeah. So those are the three, three big ones. Um, another big earner is probably going to be, yeah, a point per kill a hero makes. Okay, so we'll keep a tally, that's going to be another uh, big, and then obviously the game ends at 25% uh, of, a, of a player's warband. Um, at, you, get, you get two points for breaking your enemy, your, your opponent, uh, but you get four points if your side isn't broken. Okay? Yeah. So, lots of points to be earned, but it, I mean, it should be carnage. So, let's, let's have a look at the board. And then we'll and the armies, and we'll roll for uh, who's going to go on what side. So three, you're going to be yeah. evil. Yeah. Trying to cram some style. So with the teams decided, Nick's going to be evil. I'm going to be the force of good, which I'm actually really happy about. We're going to roll for priority. Red is going to be my dice because I'm good. Red and white is obviously central priority. I get five. A strong is better than a. Wait, it's better than four. It did flip over to a three, but it was a four, no five. So five goes to me. We'll be back uh, after movement. I'm gonna call heroic move. Could do <laughs> with Krampus. You're like Jesus with the light behind you, there. I gotta do it. Oh, you're actually gonna heroic move. No. So here we are for the first movement, and Santa Claus has torn away up there. Um, his hobbits in tow. The ones that can shoot on both sides have not moved. Mrs. Claus has moved up with a little bit of backup here and then I've got some guys down the center just to make sure I can't be enveloped from the middle outwards. Nick's moved his up basically on in a line. Okay, so we're gonna go into priority for the next round, for yep. turn two. Three, two, goes yeah. to me again. And then to Chris, here, smooth these goblins five inches up. Separated my wargs. Uh, this one's company in the Krampus, looking for some elves to eat. Hope this one will be able to ambush Mrs. Claus and her entourage. Why am I saying that aloud? She was right here. I was eating my moustache. Okay. So we're into the good shooting phase. I've got four shots. Three of them are going to be on Krampus. This one has a, an in the way. These two do not. And then this one, this gob, this hobbit, is going to be taking a pot shot at this guy. This uh, goblin over there. So let's see if I hit anything with the three. The grey has the in the way with the walk. So let's see if they hit. And only one of them hits. And it's one of them that didn't have the in the way. So strength two bow. Yep. On what's it? A two and a six. Needing a six to wound. Oh, I guess a four. So nothing there. The last shot will be a shot on that goblin in the front. So nothing in the way. So needing threes. Gets a six. Uh, three and a three is a four. Oh, I guess a one. Okay, so no, no, uh, no luck with the shooting, and there's no combat. So on to round three. I get a one, so I can't win. Uh -huh. I get a five anyway. So oh, goes to Krampus. So I'm going to be calling a heroic move with Mrs. Claus, just so I can cast hopefully uh, Silent Night. You gonna heroic move back? Yeah. With Krampus. Yep. So a roll off then. So here we go. I'm red for Mrs. Claus. Here's a three, beat that. And green for me, disputing it. Uh, ah. Here's a four, Krampus is going first. It's a right move for Krampus. He's legging it into the middle. 
there. Do you call with me at all? Anyone within six inches can go, but they have to be within six inches to uh, at the end of the turn. Because if you can see someone, you can charge them, right? Yeah. And he was within range. Is he within six? Yeah. Yeah. Legal move. It's fine. So I've got a bit of a conundrum. As far as I can tell, there isn't any characters in the Middle Earth SPG range that have both magic and throwing weapons. Correct me if I'm wrong. I could be wrong. But that creates an interesting dynamic because, as you can see, Father Christmas here is within five inches of these guys. Well within his rights to charge, and therefore, and also, yeah, throw his weapon. But he, I also want to cast Deck the Halls. Um, they both happen in the movement phase, right? If I throw the weapon into charge, would I have to A, stop, cast, then throw the weapon and charge, or is that too many actions within the movement phase? Is that too overpowered? So come, let's come up with a house rule now. I don't want to go diving through the books. Do you want to come up with just a house rule? Is it legal? Is it not legal? Are there stipulations? I'd say, I'd, I'd say yeah, that's quite a few other actions. For yeah, okay, so it's one and or the other. Yeah. yeah, one or the other, so yeah. Deck the halls it is then. I'm just gonna run Santa up two inches. He's then going to cast Deck the Halls on this gentleman right here. So here we go, need a 5 plus to do this Deck the Halls. Oh, it's a 2. Santa Claus failed to cast Deck the Halls, which I'm gutted about, but he did get into combat with this gentleman there. Yeah, yeah. gentleman. And then these archers have not moved at all, so they can fire. So I've successfully snuck my other warg around this building. Uh, charged this one into Mrs. Claus, but he got flanked. Okay, so here's my first four shooting attacks. They're going to be the bow shots. So needing three pluses. Oh wow, they all <laughs> nice. Two fives, a six, and a four. So they're all hitting. There's no in the ways. So strength two on defense five is still a six. So let's try and have him. Need sixes. No, no dice there. And then my next. Three attacks are people stooping for stones. They need threes as well. Um, let's see if they hit the guy. Yes. <laughs> yes, they do. One and a five is also a six. Let's see if we get some natural sixes. Stone in the eye. Ah, oh, ones and two. Is that this combat here? Mrs. Claus is unarmed. So let's see if we get anything. I've got three attacks, Nick has one, but my grey dice is Mrs. Claus, she's unarmed, she gets minus one on the roll. Yeah. So, let's roll. I get a six, Nick also gets a six. You have fight three, yeah. I've got fight three, that looks like a roll off to me. Okay. Okay, uh, your priority, Nick, so one, two, three goes to you, four, five, six goes to me. There ah. you go, baby, that's a six. So it's gonna be me, so. And he's trapped as well. He is trapped, he's trapped against the wall. So, double strikes, sixes with the grey and fives with the red. That's a dead wall right there. And last combat of this round is Santa Claus versus this goblin, who I don't think is particularly lucky right now. Santa Claus is going to be striking with Naughty, and he's going to get his plus one attack. So, we have three attacks going into this. You can obviously win the fight value. Next, you can roll green and see if I can lay a benchmark down. So, I get a six high, so I will take that. So, need fours to wound. Yeah, that's a wound right there. So that's one victory point to me. So I've killed the goblin. Death this round are uh, entirely mine. War gonna goblin. Okay, then here we go. Priority going into turn four. I got a six. So let's give this one another go. Deck the halls using another point of will on this guy here before I charge. So Father Christmas needs a five here. Oh, he gets it. Nice. And the goblin in question is going to go back three inches, passing obviously through the guy behind him. So the first goblin takes a strength five and a strength three. Strength five is wounding on threes, and the strength three is wounding on fives. The grey is going to be the strength five. Yeah, I guess a six, so he's dead. And the goblin behind him is going to take a strength three hit, so uh, three and a three needing fours. Yes, a five, he's dead. So, two more victory points. Judge told me he's going to cast Silent Knight with Mr. Claus. Uh, Silent Knight needs a 4 plus to cast, it's just to give her a bit of insurance later on. Uh, that's a 1, that's not going to happen. So, following his 
successful deck the whores. Santa Claus moved in and then was then counter charged. And obviously they have the chittering whores special rules. So that guy counts as spear support. My Hobbit moved into combat here. Nick went to spear support the guy that was charged. And then he charged my Hobbit who couldn't make it into combat. These guys stayed put thinking that there would be a Krampus onslaught, but Krampus moved directly to his right into these guys who were screening to, to protect Mrs. Claus and her escape. And the warg that was on that corner there ran forward to uh, attack this archer here. There's no shots because everyone is basically in combat. So we're going to go into combats. You know what we're doing. We're doing the Santa Claus one. So I'm going to go naughty again. I have three attacks. I think we'll have four with this round. I will take the fight value. We go Santa Claus using naughty, so with three attacks. Gonna get five high, and then gets a six, but I'm gonna mite it. I'm gonna spend a point of might, take that to a six. So I'm gonna go on Santa's left to right prioritizing, all right? See how many wounds I can get. That is three wounds, that's three dead gobbos. The next combat we're gonna do is this hobbit versus this goblin, one on one here. Okay, so Nick's going to take the fight value, that so too. I get a 4 high, Nick gets a 5, so he's going to win anyway. I'll back away and Nick can make a strike. Need 4s. Nope. Nah, nothing. Okay, so the next one is my uh, Hobbit Militia versus your Goblin with a effectively a spear support for Chittering Horde. I get a mighty 3, Nick will take it on fight value with a 3, so I'll back away. 2 attacks, Nick need 4s. Ah, no. Now this Toymaker Archer, uh, facing off against the Warg. You will take the Fight Valley. I get a 1, you will automatically win with a 1. Water wound. Uh, one, yeah, one get another one, I'm lucky. Okay, so last combat of the round is Krampus versus these two Toymaker Hobbits. And should I win, which looks likely, I'm going to try and barge through them and pay a little visit to Mrs. Claus. So here we go, I have two attacks, Nick has three. I get a five high. No! <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and mic that twice to a five. Got one left. Okay? Yeah. They're both one and barge, so I'm gonna move them back three inches. So now I'm gonna roll to see how many inches I can move and whether or not I can get into combat with Mrs. Claus. So the Krampus can now move. Three inches. And three inches will do it. There we go. I've got two attacks on a minus one because I'm unarmed. So I get a one high power. Okay, Nick will win. Okay. You're going to be wounding on fours. Fours. See, one wound. You have one more point of might left. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I'm going to might that. Okay, she has three okay. wounds. So that'll be two wounds off her. But Krampus is mightless. Priority for turn five. Goes to me. Santa Claus is gonna throw his weapon into that goblin there. Three plus. Gets a six. Three on a three, needing fours. Doesn't get it, it gets a might. I'm gonna save my might there. Just gonna complete his charge into there. So we said Mrs. Claus has renew. She's gonna cast it on herself. So two points of will from her store, needing a three. No, four, sorry. Gets a six, so she does so she regains a wound. She lost two in the last encounter. I was charged here by Santa Claus, I decided to Chittering hold support him. Charged here, charged here, and charged here. So Mrs. Claus moved up her six inches to get away from Krampus. Had five reserve gobos in the building. I've spilled three of them out. So in following the movement phase, there is no shots. So uh, it's just gonna be the combats first. It was my priority. I'm gonna choose Santa Claus against this guy with a uh, Chittering hold spear support there first. Then we'll do each Hobbit, one versus a Goblin, 1v1 there. So Santa is gonna elect to use uh, the Axe Nice to strike with, so he's gonna be strength five, but he's only gonna have two attacks. Let's see what he can do. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no. All right, so I got a one and a two. You had a four. Yep. Did you have a five as well? A five, yeah. Right, I'm gonna lose that one then. I don't wanna put my might into it, so I'm gonna back away. Strength for five. Ooh, almost. So the first Hobbit versus Goblin combat, or Elf has got get two. Nick will win on fight value. He'll be pushed back an inch and Nick will make a strike needing fours. Fours. Oh, no. the second one. Elf toy maker, Nick gets a two. 
I'm going to get a mighty two nickel win on fight value. He gets pushed back. Four again. There you go, gets a wound. Okay, so you killed him. These two hobbits versus this walk here. I get a five high. So I will back away. Uh, one combat left, here we go. My two hobbit attacks versus uh, Nick's Krampus attack. Ooh, uh, got no might, no might either. So leading sixes. No, nothing. Only, de only death this round is Joe's. Priority roll, get for six, I think it's a five. So Father Christmas just here has moved up about an inch and a half to get a nice Sorcerer's Blast line there. So he's gonna be casting his equivalent of Sorcerer's Blast, which is Deck the Halls. He's gonna be using two points of will. In fives. Gets it with a double six. How many inches back do they go? Two inches. That is a strength five and a strength three on the front guy, who went through the one behind him. That's gonna do nothing. Of either, he's just not prone. And the, wait. and the guy behind him takes a strength three. Three and a three is a four. Yeah, 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 guy behind him died somehow, so he's dead. Okay, so we're gonna do first combat here: two toy maker elves, aka hobbits, against this walk. So my two attacks, I get a four high. This is gonna win on fight value. Back away, roll to wound Nick. Let's see how I do. Five. That's a dead hobbit. Same combat as this two and one. All right, hobbit gets a one, so he's gonna lose automatically. <laughs> Even if he gets snake eyes. Backs away, loses on fight value. So Nick, it's a wound. You've got a four, don't you? Yep. No. And, and now for this combat here, uh, Santa Claus versus the uh, goblin on his back. Using Naughty to get the extra attack. I go to five. Nick gets a six. I'm going to have to mic that to a six. That's decent for you. Nice. So I'll have to mic that to win. Then I'm going to roll to wound now. Oh, double because he's on the floor, but I think he's dead anyway. Yeah, he's dead. Okay, so last combat of the round is uh, Krampus against these three uh, elves, hobbits, is their, their em employees of Father Christmas, and hopefully, uh, if I win, I'll be able to use my brutal power attack snatch. So the three employees of Father Christmas will get a five high. It's beautiful. Krampus Very gets beautiful. a five, he's going to win or fight by. Oh, uh, I'm going to cram two of them into my sack. Two will automatically go in there, so that's two VPs to you technically. Yeah. And then you're gonna roll to wound on the other one. Okay? The last one, last time I get that, I was in combat with, I'm just gonna strike it normally again. And this is, that's a one, so that's not gonna do anything. Kills are two to one Joe's favor, but I have uh, scored two victory points by uh, putting those two toy makers in the sack, whereas Joe only got one victory point. And turn eight, priority. Six goes. Oh wait, why don't I roll two? <laughs> do it do it again. Goes to evil justice. I'm not gonna call anything. Start off moment, I've tied up Mrs. Claus. Seated my courage test here and managed to tie up Santa. Charged this hobbit here and then got charged by this elf hobbit. Finally I just cast off by charging this bowman with a walk. That's why I just move these two forward four. Move this guy forward because they couldn't shoot anyway, they're of no use. Thing, but I'm worried. I'll move this guy forward four as well. I'm worried. She's in a lot of trouble here. You know, could be dangerous. Will go and hub it first. Uh, so, my attack is a one. You're going to win on fight value automatically, even with that one. Roll to wound. Wound. Yeah, that'll do it. Next we have Krampus versus these two elf hobbits. Are you doing any special attacks or not? Uh, not right now. Okay, so my base line, my two gets a five high. Krampus will take that with a five and a six. Wound. <laughs> so two, one more time. One more time. Oh, oh my god. Jeez. <laughs> wow, you've been so unlucky. Then move on to Santa Claus versus these two goblins. Of course, it's going back to Naughty. She's going to have three dice to win the fight. I guess a six high, because they can't win. Okay. So, first one, going on the guy on the left. He's dead. And then the second two on the guy on the right. He's also dead. Okay, so, the final combat of the round is these two uh, goblins versus Mrs. Claus. Again, gets minus one, so she's going to get a two high, and they will win that. Roll to wound, Mrs. Claus. Five, eight, five. Okay. So she is three high. Two. 
two. So it goes for me. So before I move her, I'm going to cast Silent Knight with Mrs. Claus. And what I think is the rest of her will. I'll check later. Gets it. So Silent Knight is activated. Okay, so let's do the first combat, which is Krampus against these two. I get a five high. There you yep. go. There you go. So you're just going to strike normally now? Yeah. yeah, I'm going to put one of my... What's that? Half should move but yeah, that's cool. Yep. Means I can throw hobbits at people now. So one goes, wait, so one goes in your sack automatically. Yeah. So take one away, so it's your point, technically. Yep. So one more and... Sorry, my two remaining attacks on the other uh, toy maker. Yeah, it's two dead. fives, he's dead. So, that has broken me, you got another kill. And it's broken me, so you get... Two points. Second combat is this Warg uh, taking on this Hobbit. He's working through these Hobbits. He's just munching slowly. through like Pac-Man. Slowly but surely. So my strike is a three. And I got whoops. this cock up. Yeah, you five. take that with a five. Nice. Roll to wound. No, no that's a one. That's yeah. one on one here. Baseline of five. Six. six. He's within six inches of... Mrs. Claus, so if he fails to wound, he'll be paralyzed. He'll paralyze the goblin. Uh, I think that's what the goblin is now paralyzed. And now two on one, Mrs. Claus versus two vile goblins. Mrs. Claus is on minus one again, being an arm. She gets a four highest. Is that four? She wins the fight, buddy. So minus one to wound. I don't think she wounds anyone. No. Because that was two, so they, she doesn't. She only got enough might, really. Um, but they do get paralysed. End of round, I've killed killed one Toymaker and captured two, so that's two more victory points. Oh, and um, I'm broken. Oh, yeah, and Joe is broken now, so in addition to me being broken. Ones. So nine priority. Goes to evil. evil. Okay, so, so that movement, I failed to sand any of these fellas up. Although one of my goblins from the inside the building has moved out to see if we can face Mrs. Claus, who's come round. This guy's moved into his control zone, so they're going to be tussling in soon. And over here, we have the Krampus. He's just tied up these two uh, toy makers. Move Santa Claus in, because because I'm in the lead technique on victory points, I'm going to let him sit there and save his mic for a bit before he goes in. And then with Mrs. Claus down here, I moved her round, um, and she might have to face one more guy later on. Let's come back the round will be Krampus versus these two toy makers. So I roll a three high. It's going to easily be that with a five. So you're going to strike normally, Nick? Yeah. One more time. Dead. Two. And... Oh, five. so two dead. So two are dead. So I am 25 percented. Final combat of the round, this is one and one. So, do I wound him? No. <laughs> so, the game is over. Not happy. <laughs> These guys never got to scrap. I demand satisfaction. I demand satisfaction. Let's have a little duel. I think if Santa Claus has got murderous rage, mm -hmm. I think we should do the death match. All right. So priority for the death match, Nick. Three. Gets a one. Ooh. Goes to Krampus. I throw a hobbit at him. Four plus, plus, so he's he's hit him. Looking for a three to wound him with a hobbit throw. Ah, oh, oh. I guess a one, mate. You've been so unlucky. The oh. hobbit was thrown. For so nothing. he's going to complete his charge, right? Yeah. Okay. So while Christmas going to heroic strike, goes he'll win the duels. Okay. Going naughty. Three dice. Gets a six high. Nick. Oh, no, okay, I can't win. Two wounds. That was close in the end. It's close. And then Santa Claus did walk away with the death match. Not bad for a homebrew. That was very quick, but that was a lot of fun. I think I think I would have made simply because I got two heroes. I would have either given you another hero or made Krampus a little bit stronger. I then uh, given him terror. Yeah. yeah. I wanted yeah, I, I scary monster. I only gave terror to Father Christmas because he's the boss around. Yeah, Christmas the North Pole, yeah. Right. Yeah. So basically, what happened was I was I was. Close <coughs> I thought anyway, and then at the end, in the same turn, Nick broke me. And sorry, so 25% of me, which meant that I 
uh, meant that Mrs. Claus did not reach the house and the points for Krampus killing uh, that guy. So he got six points, so he went straight back up. Yeah, it was hard. You just you were unlucky with the rolls. Yeah. Was Potentially, you could have. Got so many rolls. Me, yeah. So many snake eyes. You could have beat me so easy. But it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we'll do some more in the future. Hope everyone enjoyed. Yeah. Please subscribe. We're going to be doing more weird shit like this. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. It's the only thing to say. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hope you all enjoyed it.